Hello, today we are going to remove the valve core and in this video I will show you how. Ah. Hello and welcome to my video. Today we are going to talk about the valve core. The valve core is something really important because sometimes the air can leak from your valve and you don't know where it is really leaking from because uh, the only way to know is sometimes you just go with a soapy water and you put it inside here and that can tell you if the valve core is leaking because there is a little seal inside the valve of the valve core that sometimes could be dry with time or sometimes can be broken anything is possible now also I want to talk about this valve this valve is a 45 degree valve this one will be a little more comfortable when you like to put air inside your scooter because this one will stick out this way okay on the side and will be more comfortable to place air inside your scooter now the other valve will be straight and I don't like it too much because sometimes it's slightly difficult especially in some gas stations it will be slightly difficult to place the connection for the air to the valve okay now this valve is a lot better you can buy it maybe like five of them for five dollars right now and they're still cheap i cannot believe it i bought this one for about five six dollars on amazon and they're really affordable still you know until they know or until they start to learn that without this one you will not go around so at that point this one will be like thirty dollars for five so <laughs> sooner or later this one will go the price they will raise the price they will place the place the price a lot higher when they know this one is an essential part for your scooter or motorcycle or even a car because without this one you're not going anywhere so think about it you know so this one is very good uh, 45 degree valve this one is very important now the other valve that is straight is will last longer because the force of gravity when the scooter turns the wheel on the straight valve will be straight the force of gravity now with this one the force of gravity when the wheel go around is on the side so this one will break sooner or later or crack on the side right here and it will start to leak so that's the problem with this one sometimes but remember every time you have to change your tire every time you change your tire you should change the valve because the valve at the moment are really affordable sooner or later they will not be but at the moment they're still very affordable so every time you change your tire you should change your valve because if you don't change your valve when you change your tire you might have to change the valve if it's breaking down or if it's getting too dry right here at the base so you will have to remove the tire that is still pretty in a good shape but you will have to work on the tire and remove the tire and remove the valve and place a new valve now there is also other way to replace a valve without moving the tire but they're a little more difficult you know you can damage the tire you can do a lot of things that are wrong with the tire by removing the valve when it's not the time now every time you change the tire make sure you change your valve right here now we'll show you how to remove the core but to remove the core you need a little core remover that will be this one now you can buy this one online for about eight to ten dollar you know they're not too expensive or if you do not have this one you can buy a nose plier like a little thin nose plier and then you can go inside you can unscrew the core of the valve right here now one of the other one this one I like it better because whatever is make like a tool specific for a specific job is always better than to adjust yourself and invent a tool because you might break the product that is inside if you use a nose plier you could break or you could bend the core valve that is inside so use all the time that you know the stuff that really is made for it so this one is really affordable for now i don't believe it's gonna be affordable for a long time so sooner or later when they know that without this one you don't go anywhere they're gonna raise the prices that's how the cookie crumble that's what they say right <laughs> so 
I will show you how to remove it very easily this one and uh, I will, we will check the valve inside right now okay a few easy steps to remove the core from inside the valve just to remove the cup right here remove the cup be gently okay and you turn left to remove the cup make sure you don't lose them because sometimes you lose them everywhere and you cannot find them to buy them they're about three to five dollar for about five of them okay so try to don't lose them okay right here if you look at the inside we have the core of the valve right here this one is the core of the valve right inside there right to remove this one with the little tool we're going to use this side right here of the tool okay this side right here this is made like the little groove that is got right here okay so to remove it just is insert this one inside okay and you turn left okay try to don't turn right because if you turn right you might break the threading of the inside of the valve now if you do this one when the valve or the valve core is inside your motorcycle or scooter this one we shoot out okay so try to turn left but in the same time put some pressure going in okay because if this one will shoot out pretty fast because all the air will try to come out now right after you've done that right here you have the core coming out this is the core of the valve right here this is the little core now on the top side there is a little seal rubber seal so if you squeeze this one from the bottom the little seal on the top will open up now if that little seal that is up here on the top will get damaged or will get dry from time this problem you will have a little leak right here so having a little leak right here will have a little slow leak that will with time really will get your scooter with a flat tire in the back now just by changing this one that at the moment they're very really affordable you will fix your leak on the inside the valve right so it's very important to fix this one now how do you know and uh, how can you find out if this one is leaking you take a little bottle with soap when the valve core is inside and you spray a little soap and water inside here that will start to make some bubbles if you start to make some bubbles at that point you see that this valve right here core the valve core is no good anymore now you don't really need to have to change the whole valve you need to change only the core unless uh, this part the base part of the valve is cracked or is old at that point yes you will have to change the whole thing it's a lot better it's a lot safer you know so now to place this one back the little core is really easy see this is the core all the valve right here now to place this one you just put it inside and you can use the little tool that you have to turn right now make sure you turn right until you feel that this doesn't turn anymore but do not turn too much because if you put slightly too much force you could break the threading and at that problem at that point you will have to change the whole valve so that will not be so pleasant okay because you have to do more work so sometimes you really have to be gentle with the chinese product or product they're made for motorcycles so be gentle to a point that you're not gonna bear break what you're working on so right here you have the valve you have the 45 degrees valve that is a lot more comfortable for you now this tool also has on this side a little threading part that you can clean right here the outside because sometimes you could have some sand on the outside that could give you a little problem by putting the cap so just by screwing this one in and out just a few times you will clean your valve okay the threading of the valve so it's really easy it takes few seconds to do it and you're gonna be okay now right here just by removing you can clean also the inside because this part right here of the top right here the little tool 
you can clean the inside threading when you remove the valve core so you remove the valve core and you go inside with this one you know but many times it's not really the sand that is around here or if there's dirt inside slightly dirty when a valve is leaking there is the seal that is dry or is broken okay so that's the problem that you could have with your valve of the scooter now buying this one is a lot better remember because you can put the air on your scooter a lot better more comfortable for you in any gas station at this point it's really easy to remove this core and it's really easy to replace it and they're really cheap to buy this one may be around 10 to 12 dollar and they give you also some cores on the side because usually the core they're always uh, universal you can place the core in any of these valves doesn't matter if it's straight or on the side so the, the core valve is the same okay right after you check your valve right here and you make sure that the core is good make sure you place the cap back but do not over screw it because these cups they're made of plastic so if you go over screw it at one point they start to click and they are kind of slightly loose so make sure you tighten it pretty good but not too much now don't forget to put the cap because this cap is a little protection for your core valve this one will help your core valve to be clean and to stay away from water and stay away from any weather conditions so if the core is doing good your scooter is doing great so at this point i'd like to thank you very much feel free to visit my youtube channel i start to upload some uh, shorts that's what they call it now and they're very funny and sometimes i like to just give you a little tips on the go and at this point i'd like to thank you very much for watching my video feel free to visit my channel watch all my videos if you have time <laughs> and click the like button thank you very much for subscribing to my channel and have a great day thank you